Hola, ¿cómo están? Soy Giovanni Evans. Hoy les tengo un episodio muy, muy especial porque estoy con Vivek, el protagonista de Blinded by the Light. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. So, Blinded by the Light, I just saw it. It's amazing. I tear up, I got angry, I had like all the emotions. Uh, can you tell us about your character and why you wanted to be part of this movie? Yes, so I play a character called Javid. Um, and if you don't know what the film is about, the film is about a uh, 16 year old kid um, who lives in Luton, which is a little town outside London. Um, and he grows up in 1987 and he's pretty working class, so he lives a pretty uh, a bleak life. Um, and his life is changed when he's inspired by the music of Bruce Springsteen. Uh, so he's introduced to Bruce by his friend, and all of a sudden his life changes, and, and you know, he's, he's encouraged to live a better, Um, more well-rounded life. And the coolest part is that he's real. He's a real person. Yes. Now, uh, why do you think Bruce speaks so, so much to him? The thing is, Bruce's words are, are something quite quite special. For, for Bruce to be thousands of miles away, and there is no way, no way that Bruce would be sitting there going, you know what, a 16-year-old Pakistani kid yeah. in 1987 in Luton is listening to my music. And also, something that was hard for me was to see the racism in the film yes. because it was the 80s and we thought that maybe it would change but like, I don't know, it's still happening here so it's kind of hard to see that we haven't changed that much. Yes, I think um, uh, possibly the idea that there has been progression in terms of race relations is slightly flawed. I think yeah. we're living in a not so united Britain and a uh, slightly less united States. <laughs> um, but. But it is amazing that we can put this time period, um, and we do showcase, you know, the racism that did occur in the time period. However, the whole film's not about the racism, yeah. because of the fact that, you know, we're not simply victims. We we rise above that, which is a sort of wonderful um, thing to be in. But yes, of course, it would be silly not to talk about race in a film set in 1987. And also uh, something that we can relate as Latinos is the strict parents. Yes. Uh, I, I, yes. I think that it happens a lot in our minorities. Yes. Uh, So is that part of your culture too, like part of the Asian culture? Um, yeah, sort of. It definitely is a thing. But I think, you know, even as addressed in the film by the wonderful actor Corvin de Geer, who plays my father in the film, who's amazing mm -hmm. in it and wonderfully nuanced, is that there are really no bad guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think there's just a difference of opinion and a difference of culture because for that generation, These like first world jobs, me sitting here being an actor, that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't have happened yeah. because you had to do serious groundwork and you had to do things, uh, you know, to get money, to get food, to put on the table. You know what I mean? So it was less of a sort of, I want to be an actor, I want to be a writer because of this. And I think it's, that's what's important about the film is that uh, the father and the parents are not bad people, they simply no. just come from a different place. Oh, well, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Thank and you very much. It's an amazing movie. Please go watch it. Esto de nuestra parte, soy Giovanni Evas, no se nos comitas. Hasta la próxima.